Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today in this video, I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of the character that I'm re-leveling or leveling. Um, I made an Arc Miner back in a Breach League, but it was a low life CI, well low life character with like presence of Chayula, so much more expensive. Here we're leveling a hybrid, uh, well not hybrid, but it's Mind Ever Matter, uh, and we're going to see how this character works. Uh, with the new changes to shock, there is a bunch of shock effect on the tree, and I really wanted to try out a lightning-based character with these new shock changes. Uh, so this is going to be the character that I guess we're going to try out. So for leveling, it's actually very smooth. Um, I'll go over my links and stuff in a little bit. It, alternatively, if you don't want to level with arc mines, you can level with frostbolt mines because they're very similar. Uh, you just obviously would not spec into lightning damage until you're ready to go arc mines. And instead, in the two associated jewel spots, either here and here, or you can do this one, you would just put the, uh, I forgot what it's called, the frozen trail or something to get the extra projectiles. Now, the only thing that sucks about uh, what I'm doing right now is I don't really have a proper way of proccing Arcane Surge since it's not really good with Lightning Warp because of the reduced duration. So it's good to put it either on a Flame Dash or a Self Cast Curse. Now in this instance we're going to use a Detonate Mines Totem which just has Detonate Mines and Spell Totem to show you guys a little bit of how this works. Now I would highly recommend to use a Vault Clarity whenever you're playing a Mine build because of how demanding they are. So here's an example of the mana cost. And that would be uh, Grist, so he is slain. So the damage is pretty okay, it's nothing like too spectacular, it's nothing like bad at all. This is with pretty basic gear, so just go over it really fast. I have to tell this buddy, uh, sorry, uh, sold already. I'm gonna put a little heart here, and then I'm gonna put a happy face. And then I'm gonna put on my ignore list. And then we're gonna type slash clear, and then we're gonna do slash D&D. &D. Okay, so anyway, moving on with the video. So uh, I'm currently using two Oxiums, so these are like nothing, they cost like an Alchemy Orb each. It's really good just for the bonus crit chance. Uh, I've got a Gold Room just as your basic leveling helmet because uh, it just gives you all res. Uh, Tabula Rasa with some links, we've got Minefield, Remote Mine, Arc, Increased Critical Strike Chance, Control Destruction, and Lightning Pen. Um, there's a bunch of different links you can use. I personally don't really like Control Destruction, but I'm using it for now. Uh, I don't like the reduced crit. I feel like it just makes it, I don't know, shit. Um, since you just really want to crit when you play lightning damage builds. I know your tooltip shows it much better, but I'm just telling you personal preference. I don't really like control destruction. I also don't really like trap and mine damage because it does reduce your laying speed. And uh, laying speed is kind of like a multiplier to your damage. The faster you lay your mine, the faster you detonate, the faster you detonate, the faster you move on. And more importantly, the faster the mobs die, which means they don't get a chance to hit you. So another kind of personal preference, but that's what we've got for links as of right now. Um, so my arc has five chains currently. It got five chains at, I believe, level 13. So before you get five chains, if you're working on four chains, four chains is totally fine. Uh, but if you're fighting like, I don't know, just large packs of mobs or like shrines, you'll notice you just don't really have enough coverage yet uh, with the arc mines. That's why I recommend you can level up with Frostbolt mines uh, Frostbolt mines are very, very strong, and like I said, the tree is pretty similar. Uh, you just would not, you know, you just not acquire all of the lightning damage here, and you would just, you know, go like global crit multi and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that pretty much covers everything for the leveling process. I do like these new gloves, uh, Volker's Guidance. They have one for each element. So this one gives me spell damage, or sorry, lightning damage to spells. Uh, life and lightning res. You can also poison with your lightning, but we're not really doing anything with the poison shenanigans. There's, I don't, I don't know, we're just kind of just an added bonus there. And just to show you guys a little bit more uh, vroom vroom zoom zoom, if you guys are curious to see how it works. It feels pretty nice. Now this is also uh, shown as the Shadow, and I only currently have my first Ascendancy node. Oops. If 
First ascendancy being... Hold on. Uh, just bomb specialist. Which doesn't really do anything too spectacular. We really want to get demolition specialist for the increased damage. Mine laying speed. Uh, arming speed. And that's pretty much where like the, the bulk of everything comes for the ascendancy. And then it's pretty much just quality of life and a bit more damage. All right, then that's pretty much going to be it for you guys. Uh, nothing really too crazy, like I was saying before. Just wanted to keep you guys updated with a few leveling things. Uh, I did also help Alira with this character since the all res is very nice. Uh, paired with the mono regen uh, and the crit multi. Uh, it's pretty cool because you are going to get Elementalist for the all res. You get Alira for all res and you can even grab Nullification for two points. So anyway, that's pretty much about it. Like I said, just want to keep you guys updated with this current character. I'll have another update video for you guys tomorrow or the next day when we get into maps. But that's pretty much it for now. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Have a great time, everybody.